Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blongo.com. In this video, we're gonna do a quick overview of Zoho tables. This is like a spreadsheet on steroids. You will be able to create and connect tables, so they share information, as well as set up automations and a lot more. All right, let's get started. Keep in mind that Zoho Tables is in beta at the moment of the recording of this video, so some features might change by the time that the version one is released. You can request early access using the link in the description. This is a base that we use to track and analyze user feedback. This base contains two tables, user feedback and feedback analysis, and each table contains views that we're gonna review later. As you can see, it is very similar to a spreadsheet, but there are some extra fields like the attachment ones. To add a new field, click on the plus button and select one. We have many options here, like auto number, collaborator, formula, rating, but two really important fields are the link field that will let you connect tables and the lookup field that will allow you to bring information to a table from another table. Let's add a date field. Now we can select dates on this field. You can also use the Manage Fields button in case your table has many fields and you want to quickly make changes or add new fields. If you want to delete a record, just click on this arrow and then on Delete. To add a record to this table, we have several options. The first one is to click on an empty cell and type the information in. The second way is to click on the Add a Record button. Then just complete the fields and that's it. The record will be added. The last one is by using a form. This table already has a form, but later on I will show you how to create one. Under views, we can see feedback form. Let's open it. Here we can edit the form. For example, if we need to change the name of the fields or hide fields. But the cool part is that you can click on get form URL. And then if you open the link, it will bring you to the form that you can use to add records to your table. You can share this form with others so they can add records without having to open the table. Before we continue, I wanted to mention that we have created a Zoho One course for admins. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description. Okay, let's close this and this. Up here, we can see that there is another table called Feedback Analysis. This table is similar to the other one, but has more fields, like a dropdown called Category and a multi-select called Tags but it also has this link field that links this table with the user feedback table and also a lookup field that is showing the feedback text from the other table as well. This table has different views. The deadlines view is a calendar view that shows when the record is due. The gray boxes are the records. You can click on any of them to see more information about the record. Another view is called actionable feedback, which is very similar to the default view, but it is filtered. It is only showing records where the actionable field is checked. Finally, we have the stuck by category view, which is a Kanban view. You can move a record from one column to another one by dragging and dropping it. To create a new view, click on this plus button and then select the view that you want to create. Here's where you can set up a new form. Keep in mind that the views you create here are for this table only. Okay, let's select gallery. And the view has been created. On the side panel, you can drag and drop more fields that will show on the cards. To delete a view, click on the three dots and then on delete. If you want to add a new table to your base, click on this button. Then select if you want to start with an empty table or import a file. You can import spreadsheets and CSV files that you already have from your computer or from the cloud. Let's go back and create a blank table. Here, you can start adding new records and link them to the other tables. To delete a table, click on this arrow and then on Delete. On the right side, we can see the Log button. This panel shows all the changes made to this table in a chronological order. The next button is the Automations button. It allows you to create basic automations within the tables in this space. For example, this one sends email when a record is created. Other actions are to create a record and to update a record. I think the list of possible automations will increase over time. If you want to share this space, click on the share button and either share via email or by selecting the collaborators in your team. If you click on the tables logo, you will land on the home screen. Here you can find your bases. In my case, I have two. 
you can add more bases with this button. One extra option that we have here is templates. There are templates for many use cases on this section that Zoho included, so you don't have to start building bases from scratch. The last thing I want to show you is that you can have multiple workspaces if you need to. If you're part of multiple teams, each team can have its own workspace. You can manage workspace members by clicking here. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please click the like button. If you're a Zoho admin and would like to learn more about how to integrate the different Zoho apps, we made a Zoho One course where we go over how to configure and integrate the top 10 most useful Zoho One apps. Check out the link in the description for more information. Thanks for watching.